However, something important in this city mysteriously survived without being buried, but remaining in a relatively good state of conservation. It is a notable building known by the knowledgeable of past centuries as a bathing place, and who gave it the name of Los Bañales. The Romans valued highly their hygiene and their comfort, and all cities, even the smallest, had public baths that were equipped with hot water. The user of the baths entered the establishment through this hall. Here you would find the ticket office or place to pay the bathroom fee. Then one would access the locker room or a poditorium. where personal belongings were left. From here one would access a mildly warm room called a tepidarium. Here in the tepidarium they could do some exercises or avail themselves of a massage or various ointments. This room was heated, and for this the floor was raised on small pillars that let warm air pass through. This technique was called hippocaustum. They also had walls covered with ceramic pieces called tegula mamata, which formed a chamber through which warm air passed. To the right of this room there was the caldarium. This room was also heated and had a small pool of hot water. Next to this room, there was a room that served as a sauna called Sudatio. Its location was not chosen by accident. It would need to be very close to the heat source. Therefore, a boiler should be found close to it. The boiler was constructed of three cylindrical bodies through which water circulated. The cold water entered through the upper part into the upper tank. From there it passed to the next one, which kept the water warm. Down below there was one that was in contact with fire that was handled by workers. This hot water was intended for the caldarium and this same fire heated the hippocaustum and the vertical chambers of the walls. The heat would make its way through the spaces under the floor and walls, providing warmth to the rooms. On the opposite side to the left of the tepidarium were the cold baths or frigidarium. This room was not heated and there was a larger pool. There was yet another room for public use outside which could be accessed independently, the latrines. The latrines are the Roman toilets, 
We are surprised by the archaic design and lack of privacy compared to our modern toilets. However, they represented one of the most remarkable health advances of the classical world. Human excrement is a source of diseases and epidemics, a fact well understood by the Romans. So it was essential to dispel the sewage from the city quickly and efficiently. Below these latrines, a substantial flow of water circulated that flushed away the sewage.